Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, I didn't have hardly anything in here. It wasn't clean or anything. So uh, here it is. Here's my couch. Uh, my little table that came with the camper. A little wooden table, a piece of slab off a tree. I picked up some stuff at the dollar store uh, yesterday, like spices and uh, salt and pepper shaker. Yeah, I have my little fridge in here, my cooler that runs off a uh, um, uh, plug-in. Or it can be a heater too, actually. You can heat up your food. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get the fridge working here one day. I never really messed with that yet, so maybe here soon I'm gonna test out the fridge. Uh, the stove works. I know that because I had it running. Uh, I picked up this little heater today, a celery heater. It puts off a nice bit of heat, actually. You can see. Uh, I uh, got this coffee maker. We had this coffee maker that was in the house. His wife got a brand new one, so she gave me this one for the camper. Um, yeah, it has a furnace. I have a bunch of stuff in here. My cookware. Picked up that toaster, Canadian Tire. Uh, picked up a bunch of plates at the dollar store. Good old dollar store. Plates, bowls, um, wife gave me these cups and uh, other bowls, uh, picked up a bunch of uh, uh, forks and knives at the dollar store, and cutting knives, tinfoil and a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, and I picked up this uh, little uh, butane stove down at the Home Harbor. And I got some cylinders for it, just for emergency if I ever need it. So I can heat up some food or cook, whatever. Yeah, and I uh, show you the bathroom. That's the bathroom in here. I have my uh, coats and hangers for work in there right now. Then I have a pair of boots in there and some other stuff, but I'll fix all that up later. Uh, what else I have on the neat sink here? Some uh, clean supplies. Have another heater down here and some water. Another one here has some food, so I'm gonna be filling that up here in the next couple of days. Uh, I have my single mattress that my kids had. Uh, they had a spare one, so I took that one for now. I don't have a, a camper mattress, so this one's a little bit too high, so I'm gonna be looking for a camper mattress probably probably about that high or something so something more small or half the size than that you're probably wondering what this here is for this sponge i'm gonna put that sponge right up here for uh extra sealant extra warm in case there's a cold draft coming from there we'll see i still have to do a little bit of work over there on the ceiling but I have a solution for that later on. And my window over there is all sealed up. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, hook these curtains up today. They're a little bit too long, so I'm gonna get the wife to hem them up. Uh, probably about here somewhere. And do a, a short right across, so you just swing right across, right? That's the camper window. Look into the cab.
There's the fridge of that one. So I'll get that running one day. See what's wrong with that. Um, the final in here is a little bit rough shape, but not bad. It's like a little rip over there, but later on, I'm going to buy that uh, rubber uh, final planking that you could lay, lay down. It's a adhesive, adhesive uh, flooring. So I'm going to do that with this camper and I think it'll look pretty nice. Um, yeah, I lay down these hair mats. These are like, um, under the sink mats and they're pretty comfy. They're pretty, pretty warm. Um, what else? I'm going to do this counter here too one day. I have a solution here for that too. I'm going to redo that counter. What else? Uh, yeah, let's take a let's take a stroll outside and show you what's outside. What I did, what else? What I did with the camper? So yeah, in my last video, I uh, didn't have a door on here. So my buddy fixed the door for me. Uh, you know, it cost me 150 bucks. So now it's all fixed. Uh, he made it more solid on the inside too also. So it's more, more better. And I bought a brand new lock for it, as you can see, and she works just perfect. So she locks and dead bolt locks and clicks nice. <laughs> I have a Sasquatch in the window, a mask. <laughs> I'm gonna get a big old sticker, Sasquatch sticker to put on right there. I'm gonna take off all these old stickers right here. Maybe keep that one and put one big one right here. I have that on order. Anyways, yeah, uh, that's the door. I took off the jacks today. Cause I'm gonna be using this pretty soon, like in the next few days coming, and uh, for work, and yeah, and uh, so I'm gonna be in tight spaces, so I need to take them off. Anyway, in my last video, I took off that, took out that window up here, resealed that window, and I trimmed it today. So I just gotta do now is. Uh, Get some wood caulking and uh, I already have it, but I'm just gonna seal around the window and that'll be it for that. Uh, just waiting on a stepladder. My buddy has a stepladder. And what else to do today? I did my uh, I did my oil change on my truck today on my 2009 GMC Sierra 2500 6.0 liter. Took uh, took 6.5 liters of oil. Uh, yeah, I did it by myself. That's all done, so she's all ready. I might pick up some, uh, um, turnbuckles here, longer ones, for here to here. So I got hook those on. And I'm going to do something with this here one day. My buddy said he could help me. Do, do something with this here and bring it up more. Anyways, guys, I just want to show you that. Uh, it's pretty much all ready. Uh, Got to figure out the lights here one day. We'll get those. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's about it. Anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.